So we are moving on to the next skilling area. Round here. Ah, oh, that tunnel's a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> um, so we have the expert miner. So here we have the expert miner. Um, and obviously the mines, the furnace, the anvils. So we're going to start jumping into this now. Hello, I'm going to teach you how to mine and smith. Sounds great, how do I start? Blah, blah, blah. Um, it's pretty much the same as woodcutting and fishing. Um, I'll actually show you in fact. Um, as this loads. <laughs> so, we haven't edited the UI at the moment. But this is your character sheet. Um, it tells you all the information about your character. How much health you have. How much def uh, defense, basically armor rating you have. Um, your attributes. Uh, att yeah, the attributes. Uh, basically your strength, dexterity, con, uh, con situation. Um, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Uh, basically the last two you want to ignore. Uh, dexterity is for like rangers. Um, intelligence is for mages. Saves. Um... You won't be needing them as well. Um, and it basically gives you all the other information. It says I'm a fighter. Well, default fighter, should I say. Um, my spell resistance is zero. Because I'm basically wearing anything such as dragon hide. That would give you spell resistance. Um, my arcane spell failure. Eh, uh, failure. Can we talk? Um, that's basically if I try to cast a spell... While what I was wearing at the moment, it would um, give me a 25% chance of failing. So if I take that off, I have a 0% chance of failing. And that's basically the armor check failed with the uh, uh, arcane spell thingy blob. <laughs> go into our character sheet again, we'll go into these skills. Um, so like I said, we haven't edited this yet. So let's just take a look at the top three, and I'll oh, add some random edit on them. <laughs> um, so we have a list of all your skills. These are the default skills for Neverwinter Nights 2. Obviously, we'll be uh, remaking all of these. Uh, so let's say the top one. Let's say I'm the top one's mining. Um, I'm level two mining, and if I click it, it would give me information. Well. Obviously it doesn't now, but it would give me um, information about mining and what mining does and how training mining and sort of the calculations for mining as well. A lot of stuff. So this is going to be sort of your list of skills that you'll be seeing and um, your level next to them. So let's just say um, appraise. Actually, I know there is actually one uh, sort of close. Um... Okay, let's say survival. Uh, let's say survival is. Let's just call it fire making. Um, I'm going to cheese now. Um, what is it? G. No, I'm totally getting confused about my own command. There we go. So, I'll say I've got enough XP to level up. I'm going to level up and wait for it to load. Um, we're gonna be fighter. Okay, so we said survival, didn't we? And survival. Let's say that's our fire making. So I just leveled up. I got four skill points. So that's basically I can use that in anything. Say if I was fire making, and I got a level up from fire making alone, I could put this into something like strength, attack, defense. You know, something like that. Um. So. Survival, let's just say that's fire making and I want to get my fire making level up. I put my points into that. Since I'm sort of not like a. Um, uh, I need to edit some more of this before I say anything else. Um, so you can see I, j I had four skills, but it took um, two skills to put one in. So if I take one away, I got two skills back. And if I do that again, and as you can see. It's basically because I haven't sort of trained fire making to sort of get get it in it, if you know what I mean. Uh, so let's just go with fire making, uh, random that. 
And now I'm I should be level two in fire making. Yep, yeah, level two in fire making. So we're gonna carry on with the quest. Um I need to mine some ooh. You attempt to mine the rock. Yeah, yeah, gain a piece of ooh. As you can see now, um I'll zoom in my chat box. It says survival, which we were just saying it's fire making. Since I level two in survival, it's now uh, seventeen plus two, so the two is my skill. As um, you, that'll be for every single skill, whatever you do. So I'm gonna mine again. Ah, I failed this time. And again, a piece of all. Talk to back to the dude. Yes, here it is. Okay, now we're just going to turn it into all. Basically, turning it into all. Um, now this is sort of different. Um, smithing. It's basically um, you still get the chance to fail or not on every single uh, sort of item. And this is because you know. Um, I sort of don't want it to be the case of um, I've got all this rune ore or whatever, I've got the level for it, I can make so many rune bars. It needs some sort of like, um, you know, some effect on the prices in the economy. So it's still gonna, you're going to have a chance to burn or sort of like ruin every single bar. So I'm going to make a bronze bar for now. I'm going to make one. You successfully make it. As you see, it's sort of a lower roll against um, making a bar or something else. So we don't want it all really high. <laughs> so we got a bar. The ore should go away, but uh, it's just a bug at the moment, which I need fixing. I need to fix it. Uh, yes, I got the iron bar. So now I got a hammer for me iron bar, uh, bronze bar. Should I say. Uh, so we're gonna go to an anvil. Uh, as you can see, you got to be levels again, and it's the same as smithing as well. Um, you know, if I want to make, um, let's just say, I'm ten smithing, I got a huge amount of resources, and I want to make loads and loads of bronze plates. It's gonna be a sort of a chance of me failing or not. If I fail, then I could just easily retry again. And I'm basically going to be doing that for an insane amount of XP. So, what I want it to be is, um, since you can sort of ruin, if I wanted to make a bronze plate, a chance of, well, if I fail, then I'd lose my five bronze bars. So it's sort of a gamble as well. Do you want the XP? Well, good. it's going to be definitely good XP. Uh, do you want the good XP or with a chance of, you know, failing or do you just want to go with something you know you're going to success be successful in? So I'm going to go as a bronze bar, and then you can see it gives you a huge amount of, well, it gives you all the bronze items you can make, as well as um, their levels next to them. So I'm going to go with a bronze dagger. Um, ignore that for now. That's um, the camera angle is wrong on that. So I make a bronze dagger, and I get a nice amount of XP. I'm going to equip our bronze dagger now. Made the dagger, yep. Yep. And we're going to move on. To the combat area, I believe. Yes. Um, and we should meet um, Vanaka. Glad you've made this far. I'm going to teach you the basics of combat. Anything else? Um, basically, telling you the, um, you know, the sort of. <laughs> uh, oh God. Ah, oh, no, I did wrong. Uh, it's because I leveled up, and uh, since it's a tutorial island, you shouldn't be able to level up. But because I use a bug, not bug, uh, because I use a cheat. 
it's sort of uh, it's sort of hard to say. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go on to the next area now. Well, I should be able to go on to the next area. Okay, so we're out the dungeon. Well, but mine should I say or caves, and we're on to the next area. There's some lighting bug there. Never mind, it's gone. Nope, it's still there. Yeah, I've never seen something like that before. Um, now up to the sort of bank. Uh, I'm basically gonna just, just skip this bit. Uh, well, I'll tell you anyway, but you know, um, touch this guy. Uh, he's basically telling you about banks. Uh, if you haven't seen before, I made a banks video. Um, I swear there should be another guy near. But anyways, um, basically a bank. Each city has a bank. Uh, you could buy a bank. Uh, I'll probably yeah. I'll probably make it so you need to buy a bank. Um, because banks are very limited. Um, we it can't sort of be like a global bank if you'd say a global inventory, where you could just put things in one spot and take it out another. Um, it's I it will probably take ages to finally get a global thing. And something we aren't going to spend days on, or maybe even months on, trying to get it done. Um, so to the next guy. So yeah, basically you'll buy a bank in a city, put your items in it, and that's going to be safely your spot. Um, so the monk is just talking to you about parties and how to access, you know, like friends, and what parties can do to benefit you. Obviously I can't show you that since I'm in single player at the moment. <laughs> I believe. Yeah, I can't show you it. Ooh, where am I going? Along the path. Now, this is sort of the last um, spot. And it's. I can't show you this bit yet. It's because we sort of haven't worked on it, shall I say. Um, it's sort of look what Colton's done to that. <laughs> I totally forgot Colton edited the entire area. So it's basically I can't sort of um show you the magic due to the fact that we sort of haven't sort of done it yet. It's magic, the skill magic, getting the custom room, say like um fireball, air strike, earth strike, whatever. Something like that is going to take us ages to sort of make. Uh, so, for now, uh, I can't show you this to probably end of the story or island. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, honestly, it will be a huge help if you could leave a like um, and a comment as well. Tell us what you think of the island. Um, are you excited for beta? What do you think of the skills? I don't know, anything. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time.